In this video, we're we'll going to be discussing equations with the distributive property. So our goal for this is to get all of the variables alone on one side, just like it always been, has been for all of our equations. Except in this sort of equation, we're going to have the distributive property. So the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be applying the distributive property. So for example, I have something like 3x plus, 3 times x plus 1 equals 15. My first step is going to be to distribute, distribute out that 3 so that I get 3x plus 3 equals 15. Then my next step will be to use inverse operations to get all the constants on one side. So for example, subtracting 3 on both sides, so then I have 3x equals 12. And then finally, my very last step will be to use inverse operations to undo any multiplication or division. For example, dividing both sides by 3 so that I get x equals 4. Alright, so all we're going to do, apply the distributive property, then use infer inverse operation to get all the constants on one side, and then use inverse operations to undo any multiplication or division. So let's take a look at an example of this. We're going to be solving this equation right here. 4 times 2x plus 8 equals 96. So my first step is going to be to use the distributive property and do 4 times 2 and 4 times 8. 4 times 2x gives me 8x, and 4 times 8 gives me 32. Now I'm going to solve this just like a two-step equation. I'm going to use inverse operations, so I'm going to subtract 32 on both sides to get rid of our constants. I'm left with 8x equals 64. Now I need to get rid of this 8. We need to undo our multiplying, so we divide both sides by 8, and we're left with x equals 8. So we did our distributive property, then got undid any adding subtracting, and then undid our multiplying. So for this example, I'd like you to pause it, write this example down, and see if you can work it out before I go through it. So now that you've tried this problem, let's go ahead and do it together. Our first step is going to be to distribute negative 5 times 20 and negative 5 times negative 10. We get negative 5 times 20 is negative 100. Negative 5 times negative 10 is positive 50. We've got to be careful that we distribute out this negative. Negative times a positive is a negative, so negative 100. And negative times a negative is a positive, so positive 50. Then, when you get all our constants on one side, because this is negative 100, we add 100 to both sides. I end up with 150 equals 50n. I need to undo my multiplying, so I divide both sides by 50, and I am left with n equals 3. So once again, we distributed, undid adding, subtracting, and then undid our multiplying. So I'm going to leave you with the following triad problem. You need to solve this and bring your notes to class tomorrow.